may seem surprising, but it's actually church teaching that a person can be baptized, yes, by water, but also by desire and by blood. We are baptized with fresh, pure water in the Catholic Church and in most Christian denominations. That is considered a valid and legal baptism when fresh water is used. And the correct formula is very important. And this is the formula. So, for example, say the person to be baptized is named Mary, a little girl named Mary. The priest would take fresh, pure water in a cup or a shell and pour it over little Mary's head three times while saying, Mary, I baptize you in the name of the Father. The priest would pour a little bit of water over her head. And of the Son, pouring more water over her head. And of the Holy Spirit, pouring more water over her head again. That is a correct way to baptize a person, whether they're an infant or an adult or an adolescent. What is baptism by desire? When they have an implicit desire to be baptized. This makes it possible for non-Christians to be baptized by desire and receive the same graces as if they had been baptized by water. When a person seeks the truth, when they are good, loving people, they have baptism by desire. Jesus tells us in Matthew 25 that when we do something for somebody else, we do it to Jesus himself. And that he will honor that when we die, when we are judged. And that will allow people to go to heaven because we cared for Jesus and other people. Finally, baptism by blood. What is this? Well, it refers to people who are not baptized by water, but they profess their belief in Jesus and are willing to die for it and do die for it. So baptism by blood is martyrdom. There are people in history who have professed their faith in Jesus and died this way. The good thief being one of the first, dying alongside Jesus, he was not baptized by water. He certainly had the desire to be with Jesus because he said, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. After he defended Jesus and said, Jesus has done nothing wrong. And then, of course, he died as a witness to Jesus. And that's what a martyr is. It's a witness to Jesus. 